have an idea in your mind of something you want, and you deserve to get it. So how do you get there? Well, welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to helping you overcome frustration and make what you want a reality. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, high school teacher turned entrepreneur. Now I'm a business development coach. It's my mission to help women bring their ideas to life and get what they want without feeling guilty, selfish, overwhelmed, or lost. Every week, I share topics, tools, and strategies to help you move toward that thing you want, create time and energy to do the things you love, get clarity on what you really want and how to get there, and most importantly, stop feeling alone with your challenges. Whether you've wanted to create a better business, job, relationship, hobby, or self, I know there's something more that you want, and it's time you were able to get it with confidence and clarity. Ready to have it? Let's go. Hi, welcome to the Idea Space podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. And this podcast marks the one year point of me starting this podcast. So thank you for listening. And this month, October, is a great month to actually get some stuff going. September is a great month for ideas, and we're all getting back on track. But October is a great month for getting things going. And so every podcast this month, I will be sharing with you a new tool or strategy or way of thinking to get you moving forward, doing something that you've been dreaming of making real for a long time. Today, I am talking about a strategy that I use with my clients that they often can't do on their own. And it's really simple. And I know you can do it on your own if you're just made aware of it. So I like to see myself as a time traveler. And what happens is sometimes I'll be working with a client and she'll be frustrated or she'll be stuck with either herself or a situation and she'll be angry that she's not moving as fast as she wants to or she'll be feeling defeated that she's not getting where she wants to go. Some conflict is kind of keeping her stuck. And so I kind of do my time traveler trick by saying, hey, last year at this time, how would you have responded to this issue? Or I'll say, you know, six months ago, you never would have been able to say that to her in that way. Or something like, you know, do you remember when you were where you were two years ago with this? Can you see how much progress you've made and how much easier things actually are for you? And inevitably, every single time, my client will say, oh, yeah, you're right. Huh. Like they're proud of themselves and they haven't been able to see the incremental growth. They, they'll, sometimes she'll say, oh my God, it's just so much easier now. You're right. I, I had noticed how much easier this thing is. Or um, they'll say, thank you so much. And frankly, it's not me. Like I'm not doing the work for them. I'm holding up a mirror so that they can do the work, but they are doing the work. They really should be thanking themselves. So like my job is to hold up a mirror to people to show them patterns, to help them see uh, the changes that they need to make or the improvements that they want to make. Like basically I hold up a mirror and I say, hey, this is what's going on. Can you see it too? And sometimes people don't like to look at what's in the mirror. And sometimes we're not looking at the mirror enough to see the beauty of what we've created or the transformation or the growth or the changes. But that's like, I get to do that sometimes. And it's one of the best parts of my job. It reminds me of that old saying about like women who give birth, like the, the pain is so insane, but it's, you know, we, we forget the pain and honestly, how could we not forget the pain? Because we move away from the pain. We have this baby to remind us what, what the pain was for. And if we didn't forget the pain, nobody would ever have a second or a third child, right? So it's like that in our lives too. Like we've all been in pain. We've all been at a low point, but with help. And with our own work, we slowly inch away from it, improving little by little every day. And so we forget how bad it used to be. We forget how we used to feel. And frankly, it's really hard to see your improvements on an incremental basis. You know, October, like I said, is a great month for starting over and actually taking action. Everybody thinks like September is the month they're going to get their act together. And I do think that September like feels like January because it's a new start for most of us when our kids mostly go back to school and everything starts again, you know, back into a rhythm of in September, late August, September. 
But most women, most of my clients in September are still in that mode where they're just like kind of steadying themselves and they're just really working to get their equilibrium back. So October is the month for action. October is the month where things actually take hold. So let's set you up for success right now with a little bit of time traveling ourselves. So the first thing I want you to do, I want you to look back at where you were a year ago, October, a year ago, or whenever you're listening to this podcast this month, one year ago, what was life really like for you? Was it harder? Were specific things harder? Were specific things easier for you? And one question that a lot of my clients trip themselves up on is what's exactly the same? So if you had an idea for a business at this time last year and you have done nothing with it and a year has gone by, that can be pretty disturbing. That can make you feel like, oh my God, I'm such a loser. That'll that'll be like the first thing that you'll get down on yourself. But a year goes so quickly, right? So where can you pat yourself on the back and say, wow, I really did that thing. I really wanted that goal and I met it and I made small shifts and I'm really proud of myself. And frankly, where are the areas when you look back a year that you still want to change? What do you still want to make happen? Now, it's a great barometer, but if you beat yourself up using this barometer, then you're not going to be moving forward. If something in your life is not exactly where you want it to be, you don't have to beat yourself up. Just notice, just observe, just get fascinated with yourself and say, oh my God, isn't that interesting that a year ago I said I was really ready to bring my business forward. And now here I am literally a year later and I'm, I'm nowhere near that. It doesn't mean you're a loser. It doesn't mean you're stupid. It doesn't mean you know, don't know what you're doing. It just means you haven't focused. You haven't made the small changes. And that is nothing to judge yourself about because life is incredibly busy. It's hard to do these small shifts. So don't joke around about that because you deserve to have what you want, but you got to make changes to do it. So let's talk about that. How can you make those changes? October, like I said, is all about action for me. And this month, I'm going to keep talking about action. Where do you want to be one year from today? So think about a year ahead and all that's going to happen in that year. What do you want your life to look like? What do you want your life to feel like? And what do you want your life to be? And now this is where the noisy inner critic is going to come in and say, oh, I can't have that thing that's for other people. I don't deserve it. How will I ever get there? If I get there, everything else will go to shit. Uh, Like there's a lot of noise that will come in. And your job is to catch that noise before it sinks in. Your job is to stop the noise and just say, what do I want? Now, I have personally done this. And you've heard me talk about it many times on this podcast. I wanted to go away every month of the winter to someplace sunny, and I had no idea how I was going to make that happen, but it was an intention that I set. And lo and behold, a year later, that's what was happening. Every month of the winter, I was gone someplace else, and they weren't fancy trips. And if I had really like, said, oh, I can't do that, I never would have gotten there. But the question was, how can I get there? Um, you know, I used to be a high school teacher. If you're listening to this podcast, you know that I used to teach high school and college. And There's nothing like a teacher to say, no, 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 it's never going to be any different. I'm going to have this job for the rest of my life. Like that's what teachers are told. And for me to say, I don't want to teach anymore in a school, but I want to teach adults how to do this stuff, how to grow their business and live better lives. Like that's literally what I'm doing every day, right? But if I had said, oh, no, no, I'm never going to be able to do that. I never would have gotten anywhere. So stop. Think about life a year from now. What do you want it to look like? And really sit with that, play around with it. Now, you might be thinking, damn, Jen, a year from now, I can't even think about what I'm going to have for lunch tomorrow. And I know, I I warn you that if you're not thinking long term, lunch tomorrow will get in the way because life gets lifey and everything gets in the way. We have so much that can hold us sitting right where we are right now. And the other thing I want you to be wary of when you're thinking about your year, year, your year, your life a year from now. There are false promises out there. There are people telling you that you can change everything in your life in six weeks or 42 days or 90 days. And frankly, it takes a year for things to really turn around. I like to think of it like our our businesses and our lives are like big cruise ships and they don't turn on a dime. They don't turn around easily. Can you make changes in six weeks? Of course. Three months? Of course. Are they sustainable changes? Well, you have to be really careful of that because 
usually those kind of changes require a huge upheaval and they are unsustainable. I am all about sustainable, realistic, small changes that get you into the life you're looking for. So small, sustainable changes stick. And how do we do this? With baby steps. We do it with small shifts. We do it with being kind to ourselves and we do it with having a plan. So here I am asking you, we've looked back and said, where were you last year? And maybe you like your answer and maybe you don't. And then we looked forward and said, where do you want to be a year from now? And maybe you like your answer and maybe you don't. But if you don't have a plan to get there, then you're going to be nowhere. So stop and create a vision. What is it you want your life to look like a year from now? Because you can't do anything about the past. And if you're worrying about the future, that's not going to be helpful. So what do you really want? Remember that throughout this month, I'll be sharing strategies to help you get what you want. And I'll be sharing all the mistakes I made with these different strategies. And I'll be teaching you the tools to help move you forward. But this is the first tool of the month. Look back at how far you've come or not come. Stop judging yourself about it because you are where you are. If you argue with the past, you lose 100% of the time. So look back. How far have you come? What shifts are you noticing? What feels easier? What's better? And then celebrate that. And then I want you to be thinking about what you want to celebrate next year at this time and create that vision. Write it down. I know that that's scary. Play with it in your mind. What would it look like for me to go away every month during the terrible Syracuse winters? What would it look like for me to have my own business where I choose which clients I work with and I have a group where I get to teach them, what would that look like? Because though you don't know all the hows, I promise you, if this idea has come into your mind, then it is possible for you. You'll impress yourself if you just let yourself do this work. Now, I've watched my clients create incredible outcomes that they never believed they could have for real, and they have it. And if any of what I shared with you is a struggle today, then I'm going, you're going to want to sign up for my free workshop. I'm doing an online workshop called Stop Spinning and grow your business. Basically, it's three doable steps to get your business going, no matter where your business is. I'm teaching it live three different times. You can go to my website. It's www.jenliddy.com forward slash spinning, S-P-I-N-N-I-N-G. And you get to register for any of the dates and times that you want. I'm not selling anything on this, on this uh, workshop. It's not a hard push for anything. I'm going to be sharing with you real life examples of the three things you can do to move forward and get the thing you want without overhauling your life. So I'd love to meet you at that workshop. And I'd love if you come back for the rest of October because each week I'm going to be sharing a big mistake that I made and a tool or a strategy to help you get over a similar mistake if you're struggling with this too. And what I have found is that the more I talk about my mistakes, the more people are like, oh yeah, I do that too. So you're not alone, okay? I promise if you can implement this stuff in baby steps, you will move forward so much faster. So I look forward to seeing you on my workshops and I hope you stop in next week when my next podcast drops. Thanks for showing up today. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. You can access more free tools and video trainings at www.jenliddy.com slash free sources. That's F-R-E-E sources. If you found this podcast helpful, I'd be so grateful if you subscribed and gave a review. And if you have a friend who'd benefit from today's topic, tool, or strategy, please share the Idea Space podcast with her. That way, together, we can help more women achieve their dreams and take action on their ideas. Isn't it time we all were able to get what we want? Join me next week and remember right now, all you need to do to make your idea a reality is take the very next step you know how to. Bye.